Hey guys, welcome back to Film Feud. I'm Jeff. I'm Lex. And I'm Juan. And this week, we have a very interesting lineup. Lex, why don't you tell us what we have today? We have The Santa Claus and Elf. This is going to be really hard. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. I really like them both. It's so uh, tough. They're both oh. great movies in their own in respects. Own right, yeah. And like by no stretch is or yeah, either of we these knew movies. We going into this. Yeah, that. it was going to be difficult, <laughs> like a difficult decision. We, yes. Yeah, because they're both really good movies. They're both really good movies in general, but then just really good Christmas movies. So it's right. Sort so of why don't we start off with uh, Santa Claus? With Santa Claus. Jeff, you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, some of the things I liked about it is I, I thought the story was really good. I think it has a really good overall story, just about. Uh, Tim Allen's character becoming Santa Claus and mm -hmm. taking on the job and all that. I thought that was really yeah. cool. It's like, it was different. Like, I, I think it's different. Like, I don't think it's really something that's been done since either. Yeah. Which is good. I think that's true. I don't think it's, it's kind of, it's a really unique story. Mm -hmm. It's not really something you see a whole lot. And it's just, just like ongoing that process of like becoming Santa Claus. Like, it usually it's just like, Santa Claus is here, and that's it. There's yeah, nothing mm -hmm. really else to it. But like seeing that process, or like seeing their take on the process of what it could be, is pretty cool. I definitely do agree with your points. I thought that Santa Claus explored a very creative scenario and executed very well. Many times we have like a plot, and that you know it sounds good on paper, mm -hmm. but the execution falls short. Yeah, that's but I true. thought Santa Claus did a very good job at like really grounding who Santa Claus is, what he does, and just made it, like, a little bit more real for the audience. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really true, and it helps that you, like, they create a nice backdrop of characters that you feel are real people. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel with, like, his ex-wife and, like, him that they bounce off of each other and that you see that there's a history there and yeah. you know that there, there's stuff that happened, like, before the movie even starts, but like that history really helps kind of make everything seem more realistic. And it's nice. I like all the cast of characters. I really like Charlie and I like like Tim Allen as like as like Santa Claus. It's just really good. And then you have like Bernard and all the elves and Judy. I think Tim Allen is like well his his character is like the perfect kind of character to become Santa Claus. Yeah. He kind of, yes, he, he, he he isn't He's not even remotely even close to what Santa Claus is supposed to be in the beginning, and he kind of morphs into Santa Claus. Yeah. From a kind of like a selfish kind of guy. Not not selfish, but like he's more on his own, and then he doesn't have a really good relationship with his kid, and then you know. Yeah. Like he's not yeah. like it's not a, like a completely far stretch, but it's like an, a far enough stretch where it's like it's just so, it's just cool to see that process because like there are like things in place like. He does love his kid, but like he's not so nice to the other kids at first. But then like he and he's also like a like a toy maker technically. Yeah, like yeah. he he works for a company that produces toys, so he's still in How that whole. That? Yeah, it's really convenient. Yeah. <laughs> and so like it kind of like there are things in place that make it seem like more believable that that's something that would happen. But definitely agree. I think the humor works really well. In this yes, movie. it's very witty. Yeah, like quick it's, witty like yeah. kind of stuff between it's, the characters. Yeah, it's exactly. for adults. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of like grown up humor in there that, you know, obviously once you're a kid you don't really catch it, but when you watch it as an adult, like yeah, you, you feel like you catch oh, that was pretty funny. There's a lot of hidden yeah. stuff in there like you don't really notice it's, it's kids and you do realize when you're older. Yeah. I like that. I caught stuff I didn't, I didn't catch before. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I liked it as like as an adult with this one at least unlike with the other movies where we were like kind of just looking at it from adult point of view and you're just like oh mm -hmm. like this is sort of like like this doesn't match up with anything and you're just criticizing it really but with this one i felt like you could enjoy the child like wonder that was happening but also like the adult like humor that was happening it was nice yeah, it's a good blend of both yeah it was a good blend of both and like just the sarcastic comments are like right up my alley <laughs> when it comes with like humor i mean i know some people might not like that but i really enjoy that yeah i do so, too i think it's really funny it's just like oh and just the fact that like you have to come up with that like that's really impressive yeah that, like people had to like actually write that down or come up with it on the spot is like cool yeah i agree speaking of sarcasm 
who, who one of I think we can all agree our favorite characters from that film is Bernard. Oh yeah, Bernard. Bernard is great. Bernard is he wonderful. Is he underrated. Brings the sass he really does. He's table. so good. I wish he was used more in that movie. Like, yeah, he really should have been good. utilized more. I mean, because like the second half of the movie, all he kept doing was popping up randomly and eating people's food. Yeah, like yeah. that's what. That's all he did. That's all he did. Had but, like, like witty remarks. But in the beginning, he was so funny because he was sort of introduced like. Like, um, you just it kind of introduced, like, Scott to the whole world of, like, being Santa Claus. I mean, yeah. he did it really, like, sassy. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't have time for Come your on, shit. Santa. Yeah, like, I don't have stuff together. Yeah. Like, I don't have time for your shit, new Santa. Get your crap together. What are you doing? Which I like that a lot. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. It made it more real. Yeah, it did make it more real. Mm-hmm. Which was nice. And like all the other, it's funny though that he's the only elf that's really like that. Like every, all the yeah. other elves are like, oh, it's, this is cool. And we're, I mean, some of them seem kind of like, like kind of sassy. Like the one elf girl that, who like was talking to Bernard oh, in the beginning. Yeah. yeah okay. Like, mm-hmm. she, like she seemed kind of sassy too, but I mean. And the elf task force, they yeah, were that like was so elves with attitude. And I was like, oh my gosh, I almost like, forgot about them, yeah. but yeah, they were awesome. It's like the elf SWAT team, that's really cool. If I was an elf, that would be my job, that's yeah. awesome. Like, you get the fly around. So <laughs> yeah. Exactly, and they're, so awesome. yeah. and they're so elite, there's only like four of them, you're like, well damn. Mm-hmm. They're the best of the best, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, for real, I mean, clearly they got Charlie like back to his dad, and everything was like, it's fine. everything turned out great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Santa Claus, just as like a final note, I just feel like it's such a timeless movie. Because keep is. in mind, this was made like almost like 20 years ago. It was, mm-hmm. it's, and it yeah. still holds up today as like a great like holiday film, and just like a great film in it, um, you know, in its own. So mm-hmm. I think I really like Santa Claus. Holds up, I agree. Yeah, um, I also like the music. I thought the music yeah. was very like it's not exactly. I wouldn't say it's memorable per se but it's also it's very like good for the movie it's very like mm-hmm. classic the music's very like you ex- the music you the music that's in the movie is like the music you expect to be there and it like flows really well it fits everything. the tone of the movie and like yeah. how you know all, all the things that are happening in the movie I think yeah it does it's it's not that memorable but it really works for the movie exactly like when you're watching it you really feel like oh this is a really good song for this scene that's happening but like you don't and you don't necessarily remember it when you walk away from it like right now I can't even recall any of the songs really <laughs> yeah. but like in the moment I'm like wow that I really really like like that whole setup and the music and it's just really nice it just sets a nice like precedent and a tone yeah well. exactly it blends together really well mm-hmm. um I think that's really good for Santa Claus, so guys. Yeah, that's all I have to for Santa Claus, so. Cool. Um, I, one of the things that I give Elf, uh, it's, I think the comedy is there more so than the Santa Claus. Yeah, I feel like Santa Claus is a bit more, like, I mean, it's not super serious of a movie, but it's a yeah. bit more serious. It has more heart. Yeah. And, well, yeah. and it deals with, like, s- s- more serious topics, like yeah, the whole, like, divorce. divorce and the whole, like, messy custody things mm-hmm. that happen. Like, it's a lot more of, a, like, a messier, serious situation than Elf. Elf is just sort of, like, joyful and childlike. And yeah, it's playful. It's yeah. like... It's exactly, that's like what Buddy represents, is like, the, yeah. that innocence, like, even when you're older, like, you should have it still, but like, most people don't. Yeah. Like that, and that's what his father represents, that he's yeah. just, that innocence is lost. His father's like the perfect foil character for... For Buddy. For Buddy, exactly, yeah. yeah. No, so it's, and it's really amusing, because you're like, this guy's like, his father say, I don't know, 60, maybe, whatever, and Buddy's like 40, so you're like, oh. He's running around and being all loud and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably like 30, but the actor who plays his dad's probably like 50 something, so, yeah. it's, like, so it's like, there's only a 10 year difference, it doesn't mm-hmm. make sense, but like, it's, <laughs> you just, yeah, you just roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I also like about Elf 2 is the, the relationship between Buddy and Jovi. I like that a lot. Yes, I do too. I, I like that Buddy is so like out there, and then Jovi is very, like, She's not, I don't want to say she's, like, reserved, because she isn't, like, because she's, like, snarky. Yeah. But she's not mean. I feel like, yeah, she's grounded. I also feel like she's, I don't know, I don't exactly know the word. It's just, like, she's... Jovi. Yeah. I think Buddy kind of, like, brings her inner child out. Like, he brings out the the best in her. With Mm -hmm. the singing, and then makes her more more fun, how she... 
I don't know. I thought that their chemistry worked really, really well. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. I think it's one of the, my, one of my favorite parts of the movie yeah. in general. Mm-hmm. I agree. And then like just Zoe Deschanel in general is, <laughs> pretty, great. is great. Mm-hmm. Blonde Zoe Deschanel. Blonde. Yeah. She's so. I didn't know that was her. Like I did not. Recognize I didn't know her that was her either. With her blonde hair. I mm-hmm. know. Like, and the fact that she's not acting in roles that she normally acts in now, like, that was, that, that, I mean, that was probably one of our first roles, but, like, looking on how she is now is, like, totally different than her playing Jovi. It's strange. And, like, her her being blonde is wonderful. (laughs) She's so attractive. I think the elf story is also, it's, it's... It's different, just like the Santa Claus. They're they're both like a different take on Christmas. Like it's about Elf. It's about Buddy coming to like this world in a way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, trying to fit in. Kinda. He doesn't really want to, but yeah, they make him. Mm-hmm. I feel like in both movies, there's like this theme of unbelievability, where these people don't believe either thing that's happening. Like in Elf, like. Walter didn't believe that his son was like that was his son like and this whole world existed beyond like New York City and like that there was like more yeah. of a magical world than there like he just didn't believe that that was anything that could ever be like feasible yeah. and then in Santa Claus it's like just you know Scott being Santa Claus like that whole thing and that whole like wonder and like that child like like being a child like you see like re- the adults in the movies like revert back to being a child when they yeah. see Santa Claus because yeah, they do. it's just like so like it's just this whole unbelievability factor it's interesting like how those how the movies like parallel like that but like they go in different directions at the same time yeah like where Buddy's from is so different to what New York is so yeah. like it's like a completely mm-hmm. different place yeah exactly which, which works um, and I feel like in Santa Claus, like you can see the North Pole as being like like their version of the North Pole being like a like a real place. Yeah. Like you kind of can you s- kind of see that, and it seems more realistic as in like the architecture. It's I mean it's more playful, it's more like bright and colorful, but mm. I feel like it's not as toyish as an elf. Yeah, elf, elf's like, more like not cartoonish, but in that kind of sense, it's almost mm-hmm. cartoonish. Yeah, where it's like the very standard looking, like this is what. Like Santa's workshop is supposed to look like, yeah. and like mm-hmm. the, there's only a select few amount of elves, but in like Santa Claus, it's grand. And yeah, it, it's like so. exactly. It's, it's like, on a bigger scale. Almost. It is, yeah. yeah. And like that's sort of what you picture. And like I like that they use like children to be the elves. That I, that is great. Yeah, that was really that makes it. Huge. It, ma- it, ma- it makes such a difference. Like it's hard mm. to explain why, but when you see like somehow when you see older people being elves, I don't know. It just it feels strange. Does. I feel like it doesn't work as much. Although it did really work in Elf, I thought yeah. th- they worked and it was I, funny. I it thought it made all, yeah, I thought uh, it made it funny. That's true. Yeah, it was more of a like it worked more for like a comedy standpoint mm-hmm. of the uh, like adults being elves. Yeah. And yeah, but I do agree. I think the the, the children being elves is, is works better. Yeah, it just works better in Santa Claus. Hmm. Um. I th- I also like how. Uh, one of the messages in Elf is there's not enough Christmas cheer, like Christmas yeah, spirit, and that's why spirit. at the end there's that big conflict. Yeah, I like that a lot, and I feel like that helps the movie. It, it helped make the movie as good as it is, mm-hmm. just showing there's not enough Christmas spirit, and they had to all sing, get together, and it's like that's, that's where it brought everyone together, even yeah. Santa, back to Buddy. You know, I thought that was good. Plus, it's in New York. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, yeah, well, every movie is in New York. Yeah, but if there's one place to gather up a bunch of people and like spread some cheer that's yeah. New York might as well be New yeah. York yeah. I mean I think even Santa Claus was like portions of it like where they were in New York were they? Like, the was city, it? I think, I think it's uh, not the city they're in I mean I might be wrong but I think they might be I don't know I'll we'll have to look that there up. were no yeah. like like landmark signs landmarks really. really but it seemed like it seemed like yeah, it yeah it seemed like it was like the suburbs mm-hmm. that's weird yeah. like yeah, more so did. Cause like he does work in a city, so like, and that would make sense. Yeah, you could tell. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, one more thing I just wanted to add about Elf. Uh, it's another pro. I thought Will Ferrell's acting was absolutely amazing. There was he so, so funny. So well. He fits the role of Buddy so well. Yeah. Same with Tim Allen. I feel like he's a really yeah. great Santa Claus. Like yeah, they just Tim fit Allen the roles so perfectly. Like and. And Will Ferrell is just like ridiculous as Elf. It's in like it's so funny. The man-child oh. type. Elf. Yes, it's yeah. so funny. 
And I think that's, that's kind of the draw. That what, That's what makes it hysterical, that you see this grown man. And then you're like, wow, you're acting like a child and that shouldn't be happening and it's just ridiculous. And he's even like over exaggerating acting like a child. Yeah, he is. Which like, it works. Yeah, which it, it really works funny. really yeah. well. And then plus in his whole like elf getup makes it even more ridiculous. I couldn't picture anyone else playing the main characters in either of these movies. I think Tim Allen fits, like you guys said, mm -hmm. the Tim, Tim Allen fits that role so well and yeah, so does Will Ferrell. Like, it would be such a different movie with anyone else in those roles, I, I think. Exactly. Like, it just wouldn't be the, it just wouldn't be the same. No, it yeah. wouldn't be at all. Yeah, they like, car they carry it pretty well. They do. I agree. I think they carry it really well. I, well, I've said all I can for Elf and Santa Claus. I yeah. agree. All right. I think no, it's time no. for a decision. We've had two sweeps in a row. We'll two sweeps see. in a row. We'll see how this week goes. Yeah, for, oh my gosh. I went last time, so I say Jeff. You should go first this time. All right. Oh my gosh. At least there's less, there's less pressure less on pressure me, so it's going to be on one now. Last. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, these are really hard. All right. And I like them both a lot. Yeah, such a hard decision. It is, it really is. I didn't, I feel like I kind of don't know until now when I'm going to be forced to choose yeah. which one I'm going to save. I know. And, ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to choose the Santa Claus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like pressure is gonna leave for me now. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's, it's off of you. It's okay. Whew. All right. Well, nice. the turn is yours. This is a really difficult decision. Pick one. So. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, the one I have to save is the Santa Claus. <laughs> the one. Now you know how I felt last week. Here, so I know how Jeff feels now. I'm excited. I am, I am too! <laughs> is this? I'm oh, very wow. excited to see what I say. <laughs> this is, have you this not made be... your decision yet? Is that why you're deflecting? I have made my decision, which is why I'm deflecting. <laughs> oh. Could there be a third sweep in a row where we have not had third a feud charm? yet in Film Feud? I, third time is a charm, as they say. I do love both movies. Yeah. A lot. It's such a difficult decision. It, it is really a very is. difficult so decision. Because these movies are on such an equal level. Like, yes. Like, this is probably the most equal match we've had so far. Yeah, and yeah. this is the hardest decision. It's a hard decision, yeah. yeah. it really was. Mm -hmm. I would like to vote mm. Elf off of the island. No. So we are staying oh. with Santa Claus 3 0 oh, 3 no, it, weeks. Like, I feel so conflicted. Like, that's a good thing because I really like the movie, but yeah. it's another sweep. Damn it! I know! Uh, but at least it was hard. I, it thought, was really yeah. hard. I, I thought for sure you were going to go for Elf. No. Me too, actually. Really? I really did. Oh my I, gosh. Thought for I actually sure. thought I was the only one that was going to choose Santa Claus. No, no. That's what I thought. I'm sorry. I was, I was just like, alright, Jeff, you go for I think Wait, we, what? I actually thought it was going to be a sweep for Santa Claus. I was really? like, I love Good. Elf, but Santa Claus just has that, there's just something about it that grabs you, like it takes you back to when you there, were a kid. There is, I agree so much, that's why I kind of gave it that edge. Yeah, and I feel like Elf tries to do that too, but they reach in a different way. It gets you there differently, and like, yeah. with Santa Claus it's like a wondrous sort of adventure that's happening, and like it's such a warm movie. And it is. It's just, a, it's just a, like such a comforting movie. Here's yeah. what I think yeah. of the Santa Claus, how it grabs you. It shows you the possibility of what happens if you could become Santa. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It takes you through that journey of becoming Santa Claus, what it would be like, how how like run things, and mm -hmm. how it would like affect you. And that's something that's just so interesting yeah. to, you know... Anyone yeah. who believes in Santa. Yeah, or uh, anyone who just likes that whole idea. Yeah, yeah. I totally yeah. agree. I like, and I like the serious parts of it, mm -hmm. and how it like gets a little serious in parts, and mm -hmm. and the whole part of you know of um, his son being taken away from him and all that. Like, I think that added to the movie a lot. It added heart um, to the movie. I mean, Elf did have some heart with um, you know him meeting his. Dad. Him meeting his dad and him and his dad getting closer. Yeah. And learning they more both about. Have heart. Yeah. They do. Like they both equal. do. 
I feel, I mean, for but me, different. I feel like... Elf never made me sad, though. Yeah, Elf never made me really sad. Like, mm. I mean, there was there were moments where it was like, oh, that, that kind of moment. Yeah. But not like in Santa Claus where you're like, wow, that really sucks. Like, you really feel for the characters Yeah, it puts you through a range of, of emotions from like happy yeah. and sad. Sad and, and like joyful and then like it's all... Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like nostalgic because you're like, wow, I remember like being like that and being like a kid and waiting for Santa Claus and like... Yeah, like making like, cookies. Can you imagine and... your dad with Santa Claus? That's, that's, that's crazy. It's so it's cool. Such a weird, yeah. It's a cool thing to think about. It really is. Alright, Jeff, will you do the honors? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. Bill Farrell. <laughs> I feel bad. We really do I love, love you, though. Tim Allen. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, Tim Allen, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. You're great. I... <laughs> yeah, you really are. <laughs> I wish you had my dad. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, <laughs> the world would be a better place if Tim Allen could all be our dads. <laughs> and he was also If Santa, Santa was our was dad, that would be so Santa great. <laughs> uh, well, well, I think that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that's it for this week. Yep. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, please make sure to like it. And be on the lookout for more future film feuds. Uh, we have a Facebook page that you can go ahead and like. And if you like our videos, why don't you give us a subscription? Oh, we would so, love that. Please. We would Please. love that a lot. So, And if, I don't think we mentioned this before, but if you guys have a, an idea for a matchup that you know you think would be really good, please leave that below too. Very that would be awesome. Two suggestions. Yeah. And we might credit you if, yeah. you, if we yeah, take up one of awesome. your views. So, yeah. anyway, thanks again guys so much for watching. We will see you guys next week. See you guys. See ya. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>